Yo, what up? This is Bathrobe Dwayne, and I'm here to talk about culture. Yeah. Some of them are shitty, some of them shit in the streets, and some of them build robots that clean shit out of the streets. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about those cultures today. I'm here to talk about the shittiest culture of them all. Cancel fucking culture. The one that is single-handedly ruining the media that you consume on a daily basis from all things from Coca-Cola to fucking D Gillette, okay? Things you wouldn't even think of. Things that shouldn't be touched, right? And I had to make this video because my a lot of people disagree with me. It's like crazy. It's, it, it's, it, it's mind-boggling, honestly. We could start with just the most ridiculous companies. Uh, for instance, Wizard of the Coast, D&D, &D, distorting the works of dead creators, uh, distorting the works of people that are still alive and taking their money, you know, $10 million lawsuits over not liking fucking gypsies or something. And, and it's not even that. It wasn't even offensive. Somebody that reads tarot cards is not fucking offensive. And if you find that offensive, you have something wrong upstairs, right? Changing 60 pages in a fucking text that has been from, from the 80s is completely unnecessary. And my friend's argument to this is, ah, uh, well, you should have bought the earlier version. You should have bought the box set. Oh, so if, imagine the creator of the toaster, right? He creates his product and he sells the rights to it to Walmart. You buy that version of the toaster from Walmart. Then Walmart says, you know what? The toaster doesn't function right to today's standards. They, they're going to have to go to your house and fucking alter every single toaster to, and make no change to it at all. The way it cooks toast, right? So... What the fuck was the point of that, right? It's not the creator intending for the change, it's the distributor of the product intending for the change, trying to uh, make you think differently upstairs. And look, we'll look on this rack. Gwenpool, God, I hope they don't fucking make a Gwenpool. Stay the fuck away from Gwenpool. Uh, we got fucking Twitch riddled with that bullshit, like the most SJW retarded fucking takes ever. Uh, we's, we, Nintendo and we have been pretty cool, but eh, no, they haven't, fuck them. Resident Evil told those motherfuckers off. All the people getting sensitive over the, the nine foot lady being offensive to like plus size women. Yeah, Resident Evil told them to go fuck themselves as they should. Uh, that's, what they, that's what they all like to say, right? As they should. Yeah, go fuck yourself. You're being fucking sensitive, you pussy. So, sorry, all right, yo. But that moves me on to like my biggest, the worst of them all, all these fuckers. God, don't ever touch Spawn either. Holy shit. Yo, the people that fucking wrote The Boys and fucking Walking Dead, don't touch this. Just leave it, leave it a comic. Leave it, leave it a Todd McFarlane's fucking unfinished animation. Just don't touch it, please. Holy shit, holy shit. Oh, World of Warcraft is getting distorted. The fucking person that wrote Shadowlands is a racist. Like, fucking hell. We gotta, oh, let's just go to Star Wars, man. Man, where do I fucking start with Star Wars? Where do I fucking start? Okay, first of all, yeah, they, yeah, they fired Gina Carano, right? They fired Gina Carano, and I'm for a company being allowed to get rid of you for a controversial opinion. If it's not allowing with the company, it's your company, you should be able to get rid of that person, right? But at least fucking make it consistent. Have you seen the tweets from the author of the fucking Star Wars High Republic? Have you seen Pedro Pascal's fucking tweets? Oh my God. Disney is fucking taking the best franchise in the world and eating it and shitting it right out their fucking ass. Kathleen Kennedy fucking sucks my big old black dick. Okay? Fuck her. All right? You know what? You had three movies George Lucas wrote to make. To please the fans, and you said, hey, let's hire fucking J.J. Abrams, fucking J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson, the biggest laughing stocks to the fucking movie industry, and you're actually thinking about rehiring Ryan Johnson for the, for the next three movies? You bitch. <laughs> yeah, right. So, you have great characters you could have used. Darth Talon, which, holy, holy shit, hopefully if Dave Filoni and John Favreau do their thing instead of all the other idiots at Lucasfilm, we might actually have some good content, right? But... You know, fuck them. Disney fucks up everything. The crows and Dumbo, they're racist because, you know, the, the crows are animated after prison gangs that stab each other over KFC and fucking watermelon. They're not happy crows singing songs about, about, hey, 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 and smiling and being fucking happy. No, no, they're evil, racist fucking crows that, are, that, that belong in prison. That's, 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 that's what Disney gets for it. Uh, that's what Disney gets from it, yeah. No, 
Oh, and Muppets. The oh, dude, Jim Henson made a racist show. And let's put a disclaimer at the beginning of the episode to essentially slander his creations and make him look like a racist when it's not even fucking racist. Nobody from fucking Sweden. Who the who the fuck from Sweden thinks the fucking the fucking Swedish fucking chef is racist? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Oh my fucking god. It's fucking unreal. What else did Disney do? Oh, oh, they made Simpsons fire the fucking black guy that's been playing the goddamn doctor for that for okay they made the simpsons fire the voice actor playing the black doctor for 25 years he's been playing it for like 25 years since simpsons came out right and they said oh you're not a black voice actor so you can't voice this character what well, let's just let's just get rid of every i can't even fucking how how? Oh, but no, no. Shit about the box set, bro. <laughs> if you wanted, if you wanted that classic voice actor, oh, if you wanted Mexican B, if you wanted fucking a poo, shit about the box set, bro. Shit. Shit about the box set, dude. Fuck, you wanted, you wanted good Star Wars content from, 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 from fucking Legends. Oh, shit about the box set. Too bad the bitch Kathleen Kennedy didn't produce a fucking box set. She produced the High Republic. <laughs> Oh my god. So yeah, that's my hot take. My fucking rant. Fuck cancel culture. Yeah, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm not even done. I don't know. I'm not even done. I'm not even done. Let's go to this tweet. Emily the Strange says, How the fuck did a generation raised on South Park and Family Guy become so offended by everything? We stand, by the way. We stand, Emily the Strange. We stand. Yeah, yeah, we stand. And then look, Twitter as always. You got that motherfucker. You got that motherfucker. Your generation is so sensitive equals I'm angry. I can't be homophobic, sexist, misogynistic, racist without being called out for it and receiving actual consequences. Whatever happened to the actual racists going out and being actually racist in public and getting punched in the fucking face? Oh, that's a consequence, right? Going and e making everything you deem racist a, f a fucking war crime and trying to get them fired is not a fucking consequence. It's starting a trade war in politics. No shit. It is a fucking literal trade war. Why do you think Gina Carano is on Ben Shapiro's fucking show now? Like, look what you're doing. You're creating more fucking division. All oh, because you can't laugh at something, you pussy. And look at the, look at the, oh, the Chad comment. Here he comes. I'm Mary King. I love him, by the way. No, it means you can't shake a joke, pussy. Chad, we stand. Chad, out. Absolute Chad. Yeah, no, no, Chad. Okay, so, and this guy, oh, here's the icing on the cake. Here's the, yes, here's the icing on the cake. Karen Curry says, nailed it there at the bottom. And then, and then, the fucking tweet. I can't even, my fucking selfie stick's too long to even point at it. I can't even, then the tweet that somebody replied to it got deleted. The person that was arguing for sensitivity got their fucking comment deleted because it was too offensive. <coughs> That's not irony, and, and I just don't know what is. It's great. Oh, oh, I love thinking logically, and I hope all you do too. If all of you think logically too, man, smash that fucking sub button. Smash that fucking Twitter follow. I'll follow you back. Smash my fucking Instagram. I'll follow you. I'll fucking follow you, follow you back on Instagram, right? And you're not canceling me. My fucking logs are way worse than Four Connors. And guess what? I'm not racist. It's all a fucking joke, right? It's all a joke. It's all a fucking joke. <laughs> But you can't cancel me because I've already been canceled and my fucking empire will be built on a cancellation. So, oh yeah, my dick, suck it. <laughs> suck it. Yeah. Deuces.